And a special thanks and shout out to Community Nissan of Bloomington, Indiana for allowing me to come out and film this 2019 Nissan Maxima Platinum Reserve. With most companies killing off their large sedans in the near future, and with Ford phasing out the Taurus, Chevrolet, and Buick ending their Impala and LaCrosse respectively, Nissan has had different plans for its full-size car. For the 2019 model year, the Nissan Maxima has undergone some minor mid-cycle updates and design changes to keep Maxima Nissan's four-door sports car. This Maxima is a top-of-the-line platinum reserve and is painted in super black and features the striking diamond quilted premium Rakuta tan semi-aniline leather interior. It does feature satin bronze faceted accents. With new headlights, taillights, updated front and rear fascias, the Maxima Faithful retains its 4 DSE title. And all Maximas are front-wheel drive and feature the 3.5-liter dual overhead cam, 24-valve VQ35DE CVVT all-aluminum V6 engine. This engine in its current state of tune creates 300 horsepower at 6,400 rpm, 261 pound-feet of torque at 4,400 rpm. It is good for 0 to 60 miles per hour in 5.7 seconds with a 0 to 100 mile per hour time in 13.6 seconds. Quarter miles reached in 14.2 seconds at 102 miles per hour with an electronically limited top speed of 133 miles per hour. With an 18 US gallon fuel tank, the Maxima consumes 4.2 gallons per 100 miles driven. EPA fuel economy figures are 20 miles per gallon city, 30 miles per gallon highway with 24 miles per gallon combined. On my 25 mile test drive, I average an incredible 39 miles per gallon. Sadly, no manual transmission is available on the Nissan Maxima and it resorts to use the Nissan's Xtronic CVT with step ratio manual shift capabilities. The paddles are not on this vehicle as they are reserved for the SR trim only. There have been some minor updates for the 2019 Maximum, but for the most part, everything is pretty much carryover. Around the rear, you do have revised LED tail lamps that now reside behind smoked lenses. The four DSC monikers are now out of the uh, stampings. You've also got new quad finishers for the exhaust. Safety upgrades include rear door alert to remind drivers to check the rear seats if the door rear door has been opened prior to starting the vehicle. And along the profile with the super black paint, this Maxima has a visually dramatic profile with a steeply raked windshield and a seemingly low roof line. Very four-door GTR-like. And steering is vehicle speed sensitive, dynamic hydroelectrically assisted rack and pinion. Wheels are the 19 by 8 inch dark hyper silver aluminum multi-spoke with V-rated 245-45 R19 all season tires. Brakes on the Maxima are four-wheel ventilated disc with four-wheel ABS, electronic brake force distribution, and brake assist features. Overall, with the paint scheme on this vehicle, the dark smoked alloy wheels look really good on this car.
And up front, Nissan's iconic V-Motion design language is retained with the styling coming from Nissan Design America in La Jolla, California. Sporting a deeper, more pronounced V-Motion style, high-performance LED headlamps housed in smoke lenses and black bezels with LED daytime signature running lamps. The Maxima really shines. With the new door-to-door -door navigation, traffic sign recognition, and intelligent cruise controls with lane departure or cross-traffic alert, forward collision warning, and pedestrian detection, the new Maxima is more technologically advanced than ever before. Alright, remote start is standard equipment on this Maxima, and to operate is simple. First you need to lock the vehicle, then press and hold the remote start button. Alright, naturally this vehicle is equipped with Nissan's Intelligent Key a Smart Key Access System. By keeping the key fob in your purse pocket, you're able to lock and unlock the doors. To lock, simply press the chrome button on the door handle, the vehicle will lock. To unlock, simply press the button again. And inside, we reveal the striking Rakuta tan semi aniline leather interior. The word Rakuta translates from Japanese to mean camel. It is a very nice diamond quilted pattern. It does feature a black primary colors as well, and also features the matte satin bronze faceted accents, as well as Rakuta accent stitching along the door trim. Piano black accents are also included. And of course, this vehicle features power heated power mirrors. This features signal repeaters, as well as blind spot detection. Power windows and power door locks also come standard. You've also got two driver memory, the premium Bose audio system, stainless steel sill plates, eight way power driver and passenger seat with adjustable lumbar support, You've also got adjustable thigh support. And these are the NASA inspired zero gravity seats. On the dash panel, you do have your instrument cluster dim with your trip reset. You've also got auxiliary controls for trunk release, your intelligent mobility, heated steering wheel, as well as your power rear sunshade. Oddly enough, there is no rear seat control for the rear sunshade. And moving across, you do have a power tilt and telescoping leather wrap steering wheel. It is a two-tone leather treated steering wheel. It looks very, very nice, very sporty. And of course, taking a look at the seats. As would be expected, the seats are very nice, very comfortable. The very soft, plush aniline leather interior or seating surfaces, as well as the very nice looking diamond quilted perforations. Gives it a real upscale appearance, especially for a car in this price point. All right, we're going to pan through the interior and show more details. As you can see, nice fluid power assisted steering. It is a D-shaped flat bottom steering wheel. It's a very striking GTR-esque looking steering wheel with the dual tone leather treatments. Multi-function controls for trip computer, as well as lane departure, or I mean, adaptive cruise and trip computer, as we'll show here. Nice little animation. And this is just a sped up view of the trip computer in the LCD display screen in the driver control center. All right, moving across, you have the Rakuta stitching across the dash top and the instrument binnacle. Looks very, very nice. Piano black accents across the center tunnel. High up top, you do have the twin air vents as well as the four-way flashers. You've also got an eight-inch touchscreen display with navigation. You've also got various menus. It is also Apple CarPlay and Google Android Auto capable. Features AM, FM, Sirius XM, satellite radio. It does also feature door-to-door -door navigation. Various camera views as well as 360-degree surround view cameras, active guidance lines for the front and rear. Placing a vehicle in reverse does activate the reverse camera. 
As you can see, you have a 360 degree top down view. You've also got active guidance lines as stated before. Automatic dual zone, electronic climate control. Small little storage tray with USB ports as well as an auxiliary input jack. Console mount the start button. Leather wrap shift handle with manual shift ability. And you've also got your manual drive mode or driver controller that controls the center screen without having to use it as a touch screen. Overall, this operation is pretty intuitive. Traction control button has been moved to the center console as well as support mode. You've also got three position heated and ventilated seats controlled by these twist dials. Soft padded armrest opens up to reveal storage as well as a 12 volt power point. Overall, the interior of the Maxima is a very, very nice place to be. It's very well built, very high quality materials. It's also very quiet. You do have an automatic dimming rear view mirror with 3 channel home link and universal garage door opener. Overhead in the console, you do have sunglasses holder, which is pretty much standard anymore. You've also got LED reading lights and map lights. And of course, a dual pane panorama sunroof with retractable shades. Gives a nice airy feel about the cockpit. Sun visors fold down, they do reveal illuminated vanity mirrors, and they also slide out on extensions. As well overhead, you have dampened overhead assist handles. Alright, let's take a look at the rear seat. Opening the wide rear opening doors reveals a very nice rear seat. It's just as nice as the front seats if you ask me. The seats are treated in the same semi-aniline leather interior. They feature the same diamond quilted accents. The door treatments are also the same with the matte bronze finishers. Accent stitching. Rear seat does seat three across. It is a 60-40 split folding seat. It does have individually sculpted outboard bucket seats with Head restraints on all passenger seating areas. The center portion does fold down to reveal an armrest with cup holders and a small storage tray. Overhead you do have assist handles, LED lighting, and in the center you do have positional air vents, outboard heated seat controls as well as USB power points. You've also got storage pockets mounted in the seat backs. And while the seats do uh, split fold, there is no interior release handle. Nissan still has not put an interior release handle in the Maxima for whatever reason. So in order to fold the seats, you have to walk to the rear of the vehicle, open up the trunk, pull these little tethers in the trunk area, which is nice to have in the trunk, but it's also nice to have the interior release releases as well. Just walk back to the car and then fold the seats forward. As you can see, it is a nice flat fold uh, pass through.
three ways to open the luggage area on the Maxima. First, you could press the trunk release button on the lower driver's side instrument panel. There is also a membrane switch below the Nissan logo and the chrome plinth of the trunk lid. Or you can press and hold the key fob button. The trunk opening does spring open. It does feature a 90 degree wide opening area with a 27 inch lift over height. It also features 14.3 cubic feet of storage or cargo capacity, which is actually small compared to the Kia Cadenza and the Toyota Avalon, and far below Chevy's Impala at 19 cubic feet. It is a smartly styled trunk area with two 50 pound uh, grocery bag hooks. You've also got the seat back releases, Nissan's first aid kit, a removable cargo net, and thick pile carpeting. The spare tire is located underneath the mat. Alright, and this does conclude our in-depth walk around look at the 2019 Nissan Maxima. We hope you liked this video, and if you would like to see more like that, comment down below. Also, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe, and check out our Facebook page at facebook.com slash neighborhoodcarreviews. As always, thanks for watching.